Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei MatePad T10 and today I will show you how to go through the setup of this device. And when you put it up for the first time, you'll be presented with the welcome screen as you can see right over here. So simply select your language, which for me, I'm going to be using English, which I somehow change it. There we go. So English, but you can select, select it from the list right here. But for some reason, it's not really catching my fingers. There we go. And once you tap on it, <clears throat> like I did with English, simply tap on get started and then select your region. Now, I'm gonna stick with the one that is selected, but the same as language, select whichever one you want to use. And then go to next to be presented with the terms of, of use. So uh, you can read it by tapping on the details right over here. Uh, once you read it, I will have to select right here that you have carefully read them and then you can proceed further. And then we have the Wi-Fi connection. Now this step is completely optional. We can connect to it, uh, to Wi-Fi or skip it. If you choose to skip it, it will give you a pop-up like this. There we go. That by skipping, uh, you won't have find my phone and the cloud access, but still you can skip it and later on connect to Wi-Fi through the settings and log into your Huawei ID and then everything will work just fine. Uh, now the benefit of doing it here is just it's neatly provided in order. So first you're gonna log into your Wi-Fi and then you will have the option to sign into your Huawei ID. Well, in the settings, you will have to just kind of go around and look for it. I'm gonna skip it anyway. And then we have the Huawei uh, data and privacy, which is kind of contra, whatever. Um, so let's stop on next, obviously no other choice there. Then we have Mo Huawei Mobile Services, so just some info about it. Again, let's tap on Next. Device Protection. So right here we can set up a protection for the device. And uh, you can use it tap on the uh, screen lock or whatever it was. Yeah, set Password, there we go. And by default it will uh, go into the six digit pin, but you can change the unlocking method. And you have also a choice between four digit pin, uh, custom pin, which I believe that's the sixth one, pattern or password. So I'm going to go with the pattern. And from here, simply draw the pattern, then repeat that pattern, click on done, and it will be set. We have enhanced services, so obviously you can read all of this um, and see if it interests you or not. If not, click on no thanks and proceed further. Uh, user experience improvement programs, again, same as before, uh, read if you want it, if not, later, if yes, then join. Share analytics, uh, basically gathers data on you and shares it to Huawei, no thanks. Huawei location services, so this will be uh, used uh, by, I was gonna say Google Maps, but this device has no Google Maps. So I'm not exactly sure what is gonna be using it, uh, unless you download some kind of app that needs uh, GPS location, then that app will be using it, I guess. But another way, no, I don't really see anything else that uses it at the moment, considering Google Maps is not on here. So I'm gonna select later. Now, all those settings that we have chosen right now can be later on changed uh, by simply pulling down the notification panel and changing it from there. And we have keep uh, software up to date, so. Uh, we have either enable and continue so this will automatically update your uh, device whenever there is a new version or if you want to turn it off you do have to tap on this tiny little blue button right here um, and then don't enable and there we go and now you will have to go to the settings to uh, look for updates yourself and then we have data import so we can import basically all the data from an old device um, either from a, well, like I said, old device, or also using the uh, Huawei Cloud. Uh, that is assuming you were using a Huawei device before, or simply set it up as new, which that's what I'm gonna do. And once you select one of those options, next page you will have the uh, gesture navigation. So this is for you to try them out uh, and see if you maybe like them or not. So let's try it out. Now, personally, I do like it. So you swipe from either side to go back. Sorry for that shaky cam. 
we go. And then swipe up to go home. And swipe up and hold to go to recent. Like so. From here, tap on finish and there we go. We are now on the home screen with the device fully set up. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.